The time has come to play the teaser, the taster of the choir Oki concert. Now, let me explain a little bit. Bravo hosts this massive social business networking campaign and they're bringing the Gatwick area together and putting it on the face of Britain, onto the map of Britain. And choir Oki is something part of Bravo, but separate. It's a social side of things. And choir Oki is a group of choirs that are brought together from this entire region and they're given a location so that they can showcase their talents and you know normally they wouldn't get the chance to do this so eight choirs are brought together from this whole region and uh, they sing and this year it was hosted at the Dorking Halls and I was invited along and what they basically do it's called choir Oki because one of, for one of their tracks they turn the themselves around they put an auto cue behind them and the words come up on the screen and we audience members are asked to participate to sing along as a bit of choir oak is karaoke choir oak if you like and it's great fun so i went along and i've taken a lot of i've done a lot of interviews most of these will be played on the 22nd of March, all of them in fact, but at the moment we're editing everything down because I came away from choir Oki with such a lot of material that we are having difficulties squeezing it all into the one hour, but we're giving you a taster tonight of the 12 minutes that is already well edited and uh, this is what will be played on the 22nd of March for the entire hour, but the three interviews that are taking place during these 12 minutes are between Claire Derrick, Irving Levy and Alan Williamson. There is a bit of choir oki going on. I'm singing in there somewhere too. So eek, I'm going to close my ears to, to that little bit. It's during Fat Bottom Girls. And the first part of this is when I was recording the dress rehearsal before the show actually started. But we kick off with a little bit of my prelude for when the show was just about to, this, to start. And then we flash back to the beginning of the show before it actually started. So enjoy this, sit back and enjoy the next 12 minutes of interviews and music from this year's Choir Oki concert at the Dorking Halls. I'm Chris O'Brien from 107 Radio FM. I'm sitting in the audience now waiting for the show to start. It's called Choir Oki. It's an amalgamation of eight choirs who've joined forces tonight to produce this amazing show. The audience is packed. We're joined by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Burma, as guest of honor. Very much looking forward to the show. There's a children's choir, a rock choir, all kinds of choirs. The one thing they'll say is that they can't sing, and they couldn't sing until they're introduced to Katie Harding of Choir Oki. The lights have dimmed, and here we go. Chris O'Brien from 107 Meridian FM. I'm here at the Dorking Halls and I'm joined by Claire Derrick. She's the events organiser for Bravo. Good evening, Claire. Good evening, Chris. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And thank you very much for inviting me to this spectacular event. I'm very excited about it. Now, tell me a little bit about Bravo because you are the event organiser for Bravo for Kairoki. What exactly is your role here today? Okay, my role is events director for Bravo and I take care of the networking events, so the more busy business orientated events so tonight no, I'm here on a jolly really oh that's very nice I am too <laughs> I'm working as well obviously lovely so how long did it take you to organize this whole event I think it, um, it's been an event now um, it's in its second year and it's taken the whole year to organize um, because we are volunteers we yeah. do this uh, free of charge and uh, so we've been organizing it for a year and Louise Camby has been the the brains behind the venture for tonight 
What other networking events does Bravo organise? Okay, well, we organise um, networking events um, such as we, we've had um, two so far, mm -hmm. and the one I organised was last year in October, and it was at Vines uh, BMW in Crawley, and it was a speed networking event. So we encourage local businesses from the Gatwick Diamond area mm -hmm. to come along to um, enjoy the surroundings of Vines itself, yeah. see the, the lovely cars that they've got in offer, but also to meet and network with local business people people uh, who they might want to work with in the future. That's really, really important and networking is so vital, especially in today's economic climate, isn't it? We encourage local businesses to, to come along, to network with each other, to really get to know each other. You know, you might not be using that business in the near future, in, in the first couple of weeks, um, but if you've got them on your radar, then you can use them uh, as time goes by. Of course, and there's nothing like friendships too, because and relationships, because everybody can help each other, and that is so vital, especially in the building of a community, as, as you say, with local businesses, because they're strengthening numbers. They they are strengthening numbers and people do business with people so it's vitally important that we get these really strong community networks but also business networks and create a lot of respect amongst businesses too because if you've got respect amongst businesses and people you can go a long way you can indeed that's correct Claire thank you very much and good luck for the whole of tonight's event very much looking forward to it thank you and I hope you sing along tonight oh I will <laughs> you too I've been joined by Irving Levy. What is your role this evening? Um, I'm here to uh, help coordinate um, events this afternoon. I've been uh, escorting choirs on and off stage, making sure that they know where they are, making sure they don't get lost in transit, answering any queries that they uh, may have, um, generally helping out Bravo on the whole in terms of promoting the event tonight and also helping Bravo with its core strategy. What is Bravo's core strategy? Core, core strategy, the, the best way of describing Bravo is it's an infraculture organisation. What that means is that we are looking to bring together people and businesses in Surrey and Sussex by providing what I term a cultural bridge which is absolutely necessary. This is a brilliant bridge with the choirs because everybody loves to sing. Absolutely, right, yes. It's important for businesses to, to trade with their next-door neighbours, hence we've um, focused on Surrey and Sussex businesses uh, yeah. uh, to begin with. And given that probably 96, 97% of businesses are less than two or three people, then we're dealing with individuals. So there's, the, the, there's an emphasis on business mm -hmm. through our speed networking events, and there's also an emphasis on people through events such as tonight's choir Oki. It's brilliant. And how often do you organise the speed networking events? Speed networking is at the moment every five or six months or so. Um, the last event was uh, at Vines at Crawley, which was October. Mm -hmm. And the next event is uh, already in the planning stage to be held on the 19th of April at Vines in Guildford. In Guildford? Yes, indeed, which will be our first speed networking foray into Surrey. My goodness, you are spreading further afield all the time. Well, the, the intention is to... Um, ramp up our activity even more by holding more and more events but as you probably appreciate it takes an awful lot to organize events um, at vines crawley last october we had about 85 86 members of the business public at speed networking we're hoping to go to 120 130 when we hit uh, guildford in um, three months time that's amazing i've heard amazing things about the last speed networking event. I was going to say dating then. <laughs> well, we're planning, that'd be nice. We're planning a, 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 few, um, a, a, a few tweaks 
away from the format that we held last time round, but basically um, to give um, people an idea of what speed networking is about, it's the opportunity of meeting um, up to 40, 50 people uh, at any one moment in time in a very condensed amount of time, mm -hmm. um, say about an hour to an hour and a half, and having the opportunity of pitching for 90 seconds mm -hmm. and then having someone pitch back at you. So it's a really fantastic opportunity to promote one's business in a, to a number of, to a maximum number of people in a minimum amount of time. What a fantastic idea, because sometimes if you go to a networking event, you can get placed or sitting next to somebody and spend the whole evening then. You don't manage to see any, everybody else, do you? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct. I mean, we, um, speed networking, when it's organised well, which ours always are, mm -hmm. um, is a very, very effective way of generating new business. And the, the intention of the night is, is not really to sell, it's to make yourself known. Yeah. The sales, as it were, take place after you go away and you look at your business card and you make the phone calls and emails and follow up in due course. Of course. And how does Quiroki fit into all this? Um, Quiroki is, is really completely separate to speed networking. It's just that Team Bravo, of, or we at Bravo, have identified it as being a very good way of actually getting the name out. Um, it, it, it doesn't really fit into speed networking but it does complement the cultural bridge that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. It's a different facet to Bravo's activities. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. You're doing a fantastic job. And in the background there, they're rehearsing. I can hear Adi Amos being sung at the full throttle, and it sounds brilliant. Let's go back and uh, see how they're getting on. Let's do that. Thank you so much, Irving. Thank you. joined by Alan Williamson. Good evening, Alan. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me to this amazing event tonight. Absolutely, we're absolutely excited. Uh, uh, as you know, I'm the, I'm the CEO of uh, Bravo, which is the world's first uh, infraculture social enterprise. In other words, infraculture is really, what we do is we're bringing the culture of a place and we're integrating it with the infrastructure of the place, like the, like the schools and the town centres and this sort of thing. And we're really excited because as the world's first social enterprise in this area, we're doing some really exciting things. And as you know, tonight uh, we're celebrating our second choir rookie, which is really, uh, it's really bringing all the community choirs of Surrey and Sussex closer together. Absolutely, I can hear them now, they're rehearsing. This is only a rehearsal and it's phenomenal. Absolutely. We're excited. Uh, the show's going to start in about an hour's time and, and hopefully it's going to get bigger and better because we're, we're already planning our next event next year. And I'm hoping you're going to come to East Grinstead and the surrounding areas. We're absolutely excited. For me, East Grinstead uh, it is the centre of what we call Wildonia, which is really what I call the free spirits. Uh, you know, and there's loads of them from, from, from really well-established uh, uh, organizations to some really strange organizations as well. But we won't go into that right now. But we're really excited about East Grinstead, Forest Row, the whole of what I call Wildonia. Yeah, absolutely. And we, Meridian FM, are right slap bang in the middle of it. Absolutely. But we're excited about that because the people of East Grinstead and beyond are, as I said, free spirits. So they're looking for new ideas, new ways of doing things, etc. So we're, we're quite confident that if we, if we present the right products or the right services or the right cultural ideas, yes. then people will grab hold of it and run with it. They most certainly will. They really will. I can vouch for that. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you into East Grinstead and the surrounding areas. We're looking forward to working with you. Uh, Marine FM has done a fantastic job so far. And we're looking forward to you know, developing new projects together and co-branding ourselves yeah. you know for the area it's wonderful i'm very excited about it too thanks very much chris thank you alan <laughs>
and that was my interviews and sound bites from the choir Oki concert which was at the Dorking Halls last month. That was just a teaser and a taster for the full show. Make sure you tune in to 107 Meridian FM on the 22nd of March and I'll be playing the entire show from 7 till 8 on the Thursday when I'm covering for Tim Waters on Off the Beaten Track. From Lingfield to Forest Row, 107 Meridian FM. Live local, love local.